Hello world, 5G is the latest technology set to revolutionize the global technological order, but a recent white paper written by security researchers details why we might want to be a little cautious about its security. This new research identifies an array of vulnerabilities. These include possibilities for attackers to siphon off user data, as well as perform unauthorized tracking, and there's even scope for bad actors to shut down entire 5G networks with denial of service attacks. This isn't a conspiracy theory video, I'm not going to be telling you that 5G causes AIDS or something to that extent. Sadly, this video isn't going to be quite as exciting as that. Instead, we're going to be exploring the realities of 5G and how this brand new technology poses some serious security questions. Notably, 5G's need for backwards compatibility, along with 5G being vastly more complex than 4G, are particular areas for concern. That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. In terms of the difference between 2, 3, 4 and 5G, you've probably heard a lot about how they differ on the spectrum level. With each successive technology, utilizing a higher frequency than the one before it, thus allowing for increased data speeds, faster internets, and less ping. However, one of the main innovations in 5G is a concept called network slicing. This is also the source of some of the problems discussed in that white paper. Network slicing allows for one physical 5G network to be sliced into various smaller virtual networks. Previously, in 2, 3, and 4G, a one-size-fits-all network paradigm was implemented, essentially meaning each device connected had access to the same bandwidth, security measures, reliability, etc. When when the vast majority of devices existing on a network are mobile phones used by me and you, this isn't much of an issue, as each device has pretty much the same needs in terms of network access. However, this one-size-fits-all approach isn't going to cut it for much longer. Soon enough, not only mobile phones will be wanting to take advantage of 5G, but cars, IoT devices, traffic lights, drones, healthcare implements, and many more things I'm sure will want support 5G. Network slicing means many virtual networks can be created for different purposes. For example, a network slice for law enforcement might need to be ultra low latency and very high security, but might not need as much bandwidth as opposed to a network slice for entertainment, for which high bandwidth might be the main concern. Each slice shares the same hardware, but is its own isolated end-to-end -end network specifically tailored to the needs of the particular application, allowing for variables such as prioritization, bandwidth, latency, and overall quality of service to be controlled. This is great, but, and, and there is a but, all of this customization, as the white paper explains it, represents a massive increase in protocol complexity. As systems become increasingly more complex, the potential for vulnerabilities also increases, simply because there's more things that can go wrong. The first vulnerability described in the research explains how an attacker might be able to hop between different virtual networks. Each network slice has its own ID. If the owner of one slice went rogue or was hacked and then changed their own slice ID to that of another slice, then they'd be able to gain unauthorized access to another network. Currently, there are no requirements in 5G for this slice ID to be random in any way, so it may be possible for an attacker to simply guess or brute force potential slice IDs and weasel their way into other networks where they can siphon off user data or gain unauthorized access to resources of a particular network. A similar attack to this could be used to reveal users' physical locations. Also, it's been uncovered that 5G is vulnerable to denial of service attacks. A rogue network slice can send specially crafted messages spoofed with the identity of another network slice, wrongly giving the impression that another slice has been overloaded and should no longer be communicated with. This could be used to deny access to important infrastructure like police or healthcare services. There's of course more bad news. Given we aren't going to switch completely to 5G overnight, it will be inevitable that networks at first will have to be partially 5G and partially 4G. Given the technological mismatch between the two, there's many unanswered questions about how the different technologies will interface with each other. There's a strong possibility this interface could introduce security holes into a network. After all, attackers will look for the weakest link in a system to exploit. For example, if a hacker wants to gain access to a Wi-Fi network, which supports both enterprise-level WPA3, but also a much older security standard like WEP, they're going to break into the WEP part of the network, rendering the super secure WPA3 enterprise technology redundant. The point of this video isn't to suggest that 5G should be cancelled, but rather just to shine a light on a lot of the unanswered questions that exist around the security implications of this new technology. Any new complex technology is going to bring new complex problems, but given 5G is slated to have such an importance in the future global technological order, it's important to scrutinize it as much as possible. 
The researchers have already suggested countermeasures for the vulnerabilities we've discussed in this video, and these have been submitted to the GSM Association for consideration. Speaking of things you should consider, we all have some server running something somewhere, whether that's in the form of a website or a dinky Minecraft server. Here's why you might want to switch them for free to today's sponsor, Linode. Linode is a totally customizable cloud hosting platform that grows with you, from hosting small personal projects to enterprise scale neural networks. If it runs on Linux, it'll run on Linode. Linode launched way back in 2003. That's three years before AWS was even a thing. Linode doesn't spend a second on side hustles like grocery chains or reading you bedtime stories. Cloud computing is what they do best and is their only focus. Linode is offering all of you guys $100 in free credit just for signing up. Claiming your $100 is the easiest decision you're going to make today. Use it to spin up a Minecraft server, set up a pen testing lab, instantiate your own VPN. The possibilities are endless. They have 24 seven phone support, which is a godsend in the world of servers. So you will never be left out in the cold. Go to linode.com slash satonic or click the link in the description to claim your free $100. Make sure to let me know what you think of these 5G vulnerabilities down in those comments. Are you worried that these are only the tip of the iceberg? Or are you indifferent and just glad these security holes have been discovered now rather than in five years time? If you like this video, make sure to let me know by liking it and turn on those sub notifications so you don't miss any new videos. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.